everybody. I'm Meredith Miller from Inner Integration and today I want to bring you a brief message because I keep hearing this over and over again in a lot of the messages I'm getting from people. I put out a video last week about Mars retrograde, the next two months, what's going on, why you might be feeling triggered with more anger and frustration that you didn't know was still buried in there, why you might be getting contact again from one of your ex-narcissists or psychopath, sociopath from your past and what you can do about it. And the message I wanted to put out there today is about the mourning phase. Mourning as in when someone dies in the morning or when something dies or you go through some kind of loss because let's face it, you know, these relationships are very, very, very difficult to recover from. It is significantly different than a regular relationship that most people have. And when you're trying to recover from a narcissistically abusive relationship, you know, what's what's happening is that you are overwhelmed with all this confusion. Like, you're remembering the parts that were really bad and in the next moment you're remembering the parts that were really good in other words you're remembering back and forth you know that flip-flop that the person did like one day or one moment they were idealizing you and the next day the next moment they were putting you down devaluing you and this was going back and forth or you know one day they had this opinion and it was a strong opinion and the next day or the next week or the next conversation that day they have the exact opposite opinion and you're just like flip-flopping with them on this crazy flapjack griddle situation and you're getting burned and the thing about the morning phase is that you know your mind is going to go through this flip-flopping and you're going to go through brief moments of the abuse amnesia and you're going to selectively remember things and selectively forget other things and selectively sweep that under the denial carpet but what you want to remember is that even more than just that person, even more than just that relationship, what you're really mourning is the idea of it all, the illusion of it all, the part that you really wanted to believe about who that person was and what was going to be the truth for you guys and how your relationship was going to go and all that future building stuff that they promised, the future faking as they call it, where they led you to believe that this was going to happen or that was going to happen in the future and you would be together or you would have this together or this and that and the other together. And so they, they created this idea in your mind, you know, just like in the movie Inception when they talk about the most dangerous parasite of all is an idea. You know, when you plant an idea in someone's mind, it's very, very difficult to extract that idea later. And, and when they plant that seed of that idea in your mind and your mind likes the illusion of that, it likes the way it sounds, you don't know that it's an illusion yet. So you fall for it and you start believing it and you start creating this in your mind. And so when you break up with this person, like you're not just breaking up from the future trajectory, you are breaking up from the idea, the illusion of what the future was supposed to be, but wasn't at all. Like it was never real. You know, in, in a regular healthy relationship, people make plans for the future together and then they go their separate ways and those plans for the future are never realized. But they're on the same page, you know, like they're they're talking about building that future together and for whatever reason it just doesn't work out and they can't move forward together. When you're talking about being in a relationship with a narcissist, every idea that was painted about the future you can believe that was a lie. You can believe that that was a manipulation, that was an illusion, it was a carrot that they were holding on that stick, you know, to inch you and inch you and inch you in that direction, but none of that was ever really gonna happen. And, and so the hardest part is really mourning the idea of it all. And what really helps, you know, is, is to tell yourself that was just an illusion that wasn't real, that was never gonna be. And accepting communication from that person, accepting that person back in your life, reading anything that they send to you is, is simply to enable this lie you know, that that's not real and they're gonna try to confuse you again. And, and when you'll notice it is that they're flip-flopping again, you know, maybe they're trying to get you back and they're texting you or they're emailing you. And one moment they're like, oh my God, you were the best thing that ever happened to me. You're my soulmate, please, please, I want you back. 
blah 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 i'm gonna be different this time i've really changed i promise you and then you fall for it and then they hurt you or or they're texting you this and they're texting me this and you're ignoring and you're ignoring and you're ignoring and then like days later you get this message and it's like you're a horrible person i just i can't even imagine how hard it would be to be in a relationship with you you know and you're doing this and you're doing that and wow what you know what an awful person are you and so you don't want to get caught into that trap because it's always going to be the flip-flop it's like the windshield wiper you know and sometimes it's like on high and sometimes it's like a little bit slower you know but one way or another whether it's in the same moment in the same conversation or the next day or the next week they are gonna flip-flop again and that is the telltale sign that you are being run through the abuse cycle the flip-flop the back and forth the sweet the mean you know cycle the idealization and devaluation cycle and and you've got to mourn the idea of it all You've got to convince yourself to understand that that was just an illusion. That was that, That's something that will never happen with that person. It doesn't mean you should give up on love. It doesn't mean you should give up on, on the idea that you wanted to create. It's just that that's not the person. That's not the situation. That will never be. And they might lead you on to believe that again, but if you get hooked into that again, you're only going to get hurt worse, you know, because you're going to dig a deeper hole every single time. And then it's harder and harder to get out. So you've got to face that idea. You've got to face the mourning of that idea that that idea never even existed. It, it just, I mean, it existed in your mind, but it wasn't real. It wasn't an actual thing that was going to happen. And when you can accept that, when you can truly accept that that was an illusion, that that was a lie, that was just an idea that they planted in your mind to manipulate you, to get you to do what they wanted, to get you to believe what you wanted, telling you everything that they knew that you wanted to hear, that you wanted to believe. When you can truly accept that, that truth will set you free. That truth will unlock that hook that you still feel drawn to that person. You still want to go there and like read their email or like read their text and see what's going on. Or you might even want to reach out, you know, or you might want to fall for something that they're saying. When you can truly accept the fact that, that was just an idea, it was an illusion, it was never going to happen, then you can mourn that idea and that acceptance and that truth will set you free. So I wanted to put that out there for you guys right now that Mars is retrograde. I know this is really coming up a lot and you're probably feeling really frustrated and angry as it's all coming up because every time you get hooked back into that, what's going to happen, you're going to feel worse about yourself. You're going to feel like you're stupid. You're not stupid. You're going to feel like you're not good enough. You are good enough. You're going to feel like you're un unworthy of love and you are totally worthy of love and you are worthy of the truth and you are worthy of having people in your life who love you who are uplifting who want to share truth with you who want to share a healthy sense of communication and connection with you and you just got to get the wrong people out of your life so use this time to do that face the reality face the reality that you are mourning an idea an illusion of something that was never going to be and accept that and when you can truly accept that in your heart and in your mind, then you're going to be able to move forward. You're going to be able to let go of that. You're going to be able to get out of that, you know, that, that attachment that they can still connect you and hook you with. You know, you want to be able to move forward from that so you don't keep falling for the contact that they're going to reach out or you don't keep sending all your thoughts and all your energy in that direction or wishing that that was still going to happen because that wishful thinking will only lead to your demise. The wishful thinking will only lead you back into the denial, back into the abuse cycle, back into the devastation and into a deeper hole that you have to dig yourself out of. So I wanted to put that message out there for you guys today. I'm sending you a big hug. I know it's not easy, but you can do it. You can do it. Just got to face the truth and that truth will set you free. Have a wonderful weekend. See you guys soon.